Yep, that's a 1954 Taylor Aero Car arriving at its new home in Colorado. And yep, you did hear it beep as it flew by. The Aero Car is the only, it remains the only standard category certificated flying car. And uh, there are some others that um, uh, are trying to be flying cars, I guess you could say, but. This, you can completely detach the wings. You can drive it like a car. You can attach the wings again. You can fly it like an airplane. It is FA certificated. And despite the efforts of all the manufacturers, think of all the people that are actually working on flying cars. I mean, it's Boeing, there's Airbus, there's Tesla, there's uh, 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 Honda, there are uh, Google, Apple. They're all working on flying cars, but Molt Taylor designed and built a flying car that what has proven itself since uh, since the early 1950s and is, is still the only one in existence. It's obviously airworthy and roadworthy. It's licensed for the highway. It has about 750 flying hours and 16,000 road miles. I wonder if those are the original tires. Uh, to me, the aero car is just a fantastic uh, example of the uh, confluence of kind of uh, aviation technology, automotive technology, and that time when everything was possible right after World War II, people were going to be fly, uh, flying in their cars and they were going to, all the world's problems were going to be solved by nuclear power and et cetera, et cetera. It's just a time of great optimism and the flying car was certainly one of those uh, results of that optimism. The new owner of the aero car wishes to remain anonymous. Thanks to Justin Dillon of Cirrus for the video.